Let's welcome back to the show House Oversight Chairman James Comer. Congressman, it's good to see you. Okay, first this. Democrats in the media are attacking you for saying bank records show Hunter Biden, you know, is making payments to Joe Biden out of the same business account that was taking in money from China. But now Democrats say this was Hunter Biden reimbursing his father for car payments for a Ford F-150 Raptor or whatever. You know, so what do you make of these criticisms, sir? Well, I mean, we showed money going from these shady accounts that were fully funded by the Chinese Communist Party going directly to Joe Biden. Now they continue to play the loan card. The last five or six transactions we've shown that went to Joe Biden, uh, money that came from China, they said were all loan repayments, but yet they don't have any evidence of paying out a loan. If, if I loan you money, uh, then I should have a, a check that shows money going out in addition to money coming back in. But at the end of the day, whether they were alone or not doesn't matter. If, if Joe Biden loaned his son money, that's great. But his son paid it back. If it were a loan, which it wasn't, he paid it back through influence peddling. Joe Biden knew the only place his son was getting money at this time. He said well, he had bad credit. He, he, he couldn't afford his third vehicle. He already had a Porsche. Liz at this time he had a Porsche and another car. this was his third car and he's you know apparently on on drugs I mean should he be driving to begin with but this is his third vehicle he had and and the money that that Hunter paid Joe back if it were in fact a loan came from China that's a fact so it came from an account that was being investigated by the Department of Justice for money laundering and other serious financial crimes Oh, yeah, so you're saying where are the loan doc? I mean, there's a lot of money sloshing around in the form of loans. You know, the question is, did voters really ask for a Biden family to go in there and start making money off of the president's government job or vice presidential job? Do our soldiers overseas really want to fight for, you know, that kind of behavior? You know, it's like normalizing. Well, we've been covering this for, I think, since, yeah, we, since 2020. You know, before the presidential right. race, I mean, you got to wonder, this feels like really bad behavior on the part of the Biden family when you go into the government reports, into what, you know, your House Oversight Panel and House Judiciary and Ways and Means are finding out. And also the obstruction that's been going on in the Justice Department into the Hunter Biden criminal probe. Watch FBI Director Christopher Wray defending his bureau tipping off Hunter Biden before a search of his property in the DOJ criminal probe. Watch this. Let me ask you also, the whistleblower testified that investigators wanted to execute a search warrant on a storage unit used by Hunter Biden, and instead they tipped off Hunter Biden's lawyer before the search warrant was carried out. Is it typical FBI practice to tip off the subject of a search warrant before the search warrant so they can remove any evidence that's incriminating? What is typical is that when you're dealing with an individual who has a protective detail, uh, it is typical for agents to be in contact with does the, the subject's protective, protective detail, detail. Does Director Ray, you and I have gone round and round on this, because I understand. Anytime you're asked about this, the answer is it's an ongoing investigation. Of course, the investigation isn't ongoing. You're not doing the work. You've got whistleblowers pointing out that you're not doing the work, and you are hiding behind the skirts of the Attorney General. So let me get this straight. I get Secret Service detail if I'm a family member of somebody in office. And, uh, you know, I have a DOJ criminal probe against me. That means I get to have a DOJ official tell me that they're going to come and search my property? Really? That's how it works down no. in D.C.? No, there's a two-tier system of justice. We've proven that. Uh, that's a terrible answer. Ted Cruz is a great American. He's exactly right. Uh, the DOJ has covered for the Biden family for over a decade. Uh, the, every government agency knew the Bidens were being accused of money laundering by the banks. They knew that they were influence peddling with our enemies around the world. They knew they weren't paying taxes on it. They knew that this was a national security risk. Every instance, they turned a blind eye because it was Joe Biden. Yeah, I mean, listen, we've known that foreign adversaries purposely target the children of politicians to spy. Here's the other issue. What's the timeline on impeachment? We're hearing that there could be a vote to formalize the impeachment inquiry next week, and we're hearing that uh, there could be the timeline possible articles brought in the first half of next year. Is that the timeline? Well, the timeline for impeachment inquiry, which is, which is my deal, uh, we will have a floor vote next week. I believe we have the vote. I believe that the members have seen the uh, overwhelming amount of evidence 
uh, that we've brought forward. And I think they're very concerned, like an overwhelming majority of Americans. They want answers to questions. Is our president compromised because of the millions of dollars his family's taken from our enemies around the world? That's the issue. Americans deserve answers. Chairman Comer, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you.